So, we got another old head hating on Giannis again, bro. And this one was just actually just flat out dumb. Y'all gonna see what this man Gilbert Arenas had to say on his podcast, the No Chill Podcast, man. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, man. We're gonna get straight into this. In our league of what players look like. And, and what's so funny is the media tries to shorten it. They do. They try to shorten this gap like it's this, like, oh, he's the best player in the league. Not even close. <laughs> just stop. Just stop it. And I, <laughs> it's just stop. Like, so this, is, uh, this, is so, this gap is so big, but you're trying to always replace the next person by putting it back. Like, his work, I can look at his game and say, he doesn't understand basketball yet. He plays the sport. He won a championship. Cool. He doesn't really understand how to be great. How to be And you do? Like, don't get me wrong. Gilbert Arenas was a good... No. Gilbert Arenas was a good player. You were nowhere near a superstar. You were nowhere near the best player on your team taking them to the, a deep playoff run and to the finals. You never won an MVP, let alone defensive player of the year. He doesn't really understand how to be great. Bro, what? Bro, it's an MVP, two-time MVP, defensive player of the year, an NBA champion, and finals MVP. Bro, you're bugging. It gets worse. He doesn't understand basketball yet. He plays the sport. He won a championship. Cool. He doesn't really understand how to be great, how to be better, how to train his body. Like, you know, I'm looking at the stats. Oh, you're playing 32 minutes, 34 minutes, 30. You, I'm sorry, but to be here... You have to train your body to at least 38 minutes and above. Mm. So now we're over here dick sucking how many minutes niggas is playing. That's what we doing, Gilbert? Gilbert, we're dick sucking minutes? Do you think Braun plays that many minutes a game? No. Why do you think that? There was a time where he had to. There's times where Giannis has to. Giannis, uh, situations this year haven't really called for you to have to go and play more than 40 minutes. Is, is that something now down 0-2 that you feel like you need to put your hand up and say, I'm good to go as long as I need to be on the court. I'm going to do whatever Coach Bad tells me to do. Uh, that's what I'll be doing all year. Obviously, I will love to play 48 minutes. Uh, but, you know, he sees the game. He coaches the game. So, I'm just going to do whatever he tells me to do. He literally said he just does what the coach tells him to do. If the coach is pulling Giannis to rest him for the later part of the game, that's what he's doing for the be for the best of his player. <laughs> Like if, if I told you, if I told Allen Iverson, yeah, you're going to play 32 minutes tonight. Really, man, to cuss you out. Oh, yeah, that's a fight. <laughs> it's a fight. That's a fight, bro. Like, man, he's sitting there like, yo, I tried, I trained my body way past. It's a, it's a fight. 32 minutes. 32 minutes. Like, come on, man, I'm not even breaking a sweat. That's a fight right there, dog. And you got, you got superstars in today's game, like 32 minutes. I'm like, playoff game, playoff. When I went into playoff games, I'm already prepared to never be subbed out. Mm. Okay, well, let's just see what you did in the playoffs. At age 23, he played 10 games in the playoffs, 45 minutes. That's a lot of time. But in that in that time, you were shooting 37% from the field, 23% from the three-point line, and averaged 23 points a game. Cool. You were young. You were 23 years old. Cool. Let's move on to the next year. Six games in the playoffs, 47 minutes, never was subbed out, 46%, and 34 points a game. Cool. You played one series. The year after that, 23 minutes a game, 38% from the field, 10 points a game. To sit here and criticize a man that is putting up numbers, and I mean numbers, and playing multiple playoff series. He has three seasons where he's played more than one playoff series in those innings so let's just take the take the games that he played more than 10 games in the playoffs and started more than 10 games in the playoffs 25 12 and 4 the next time this is when he won a championship in finals mvp 12 rebounds five assists and 30 points the next time 31 14 and dang near seven what are you talking about you're not ready to get subbed out but bro you should have been subbed out shooting this bad you shot 37 percent. you shot 37 percent from the field and you're over here talking about Giannis. bro how about you why didn't you expand your game why couldn't you be better but you're over here dogging one of the greatest players to ever touch the nba Giannis will be an all-time great gilbert arenas i'm sorry you're an all-time bucket but you will never be an all-time great you've never been as great as Giannis, and that's not that's not to take take anything away from your career but the fact that you're comparing him to those people that are uncomparable tells you how great this player is bro you don't need to do all this take it out your mouth bro take it out your mouth at this point bro you're bugging bro stop Bron's first year back to Cleveland. When he came back, mm -hmm. you know, 
I was, I think, 2014. You know, that was my second year coaching in Cleveland. He came back to Cleveland, and we went through the regular season. And I remember as a coach, I was like, man, this dude don't play hard all the time. Mm -hmm. I was saying that to myself. Mm -hmm. We went through the regular season, and I eventually told him, nah, that's not it. This is what I was saying to myself. The playoffs started. So I had never been around Braun in the playoffs. Man, that zero dark 23 <laughs> shit that he got there. Gil. No, no, this is a true story for me. After game three in the playoffs, I went to him and apologized. I got to apologize to you, man, because I was just like, I was clowning you during the regular season. Uh -huh. And he was like, PH, man, he said, I've been in the league for a long time, man. I have to go through the regular season and make sure when the playoffs hit, I'm optimal. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ready to go at the apex. Bro, that, that level, that gear that he went through, mm -hmm. I was just, I was blown away. You know, some, how many players have that gear, yeah, Gil? Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not yeah, very, it's, it's not, very not, few. It's not be, it's Honestly, the top, the top players in the NBA, and I mean the top, the cream of the crop players in the NBA, just turn this switch on during the playoffs and are elite. Like the type of player you see in the playoffs, you don't necessarily see fully in the regular season. Like you can see it, but they make that big of a jump to where it's like, dang. He's this good? Think of the Kobe's. Think of LeBron's. Gotta give man credit. Think of think of Jokic. Stephen Curry. Bro, these are the type of players that just that just make that switch in the playoffs. And honestly, we can even go back to the example of Giannis. A lot of y'all may not see this as a significant jump, but to me, this is a substantial jump. 29.9, almost 30 game, 30 points a game, 11.6 rebounds, 5.8 assists. But then look at the playoffs. Played five more minutes per game. Average 31.7, paying near seven assists and 14 boards. Do you not realize like how significant that is already to what he was doing? And remember, off of the regular season this year, this man was a finalist for MVP. But that just adds to the argument of why you being on Giannis's dick is crazy, bro. Honestly, y'all get the point. These old heads really need to stop coming in here and talking about these newer NBA players like a Jokic, like a Joel Embiid, or... Giannis and just saying everything that just comes to mind because they're not them they're they're not doing it the same way that they would do it in their decade and I'm gonna be honest with you the players in this decade are far better than the players in the decades before them which they are supposed to be the game evolves the game evolves elite level shooting back in the 2000s was 36 percent from three that's league average right now the average NBA player is shooting 36% from three. The game evolved, bro. Y'all are talking on things that y'all know about, but you're criticizing them as if you were that. That's not what you were. That's not what you were. If you were, if this was coming from AI, cool. I would not have no problems with it. I would have no problems with it. But AI wouldn't say something like this because he sees the great, the greatness in Giannis. And I'm not even saying Gilbert Arenas doesn't see the greatness in Giannis. But he must not see it to a certain extent to where everybody else sees it to where we're crowning him the best player in the NBA for a reason. Now, if Braun and the Lakers had their stuff together, bro, if they had their stuff together and they made the playoffs and they were at least a fifth seed, nobody's questioning LeBron's the best player in the NBA. Nobody's questioning that. But the Lakers has too many inside turn on oil for, for me logically to crown him that. Me personally, Braun's the best player to ever play the game, but... Giannis right now is the best player in the NBA. Right behind him, got to be either Stephen Curry or Jokic. One of the two. But hey, man, we're going to get out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're going to be going crazy on these reactions. If y'all want to send me videos to react to, like these crazy takes, or just regular videos in general, as far as just as long as they're on topics of basketball, you can DM me at WavyJ. Uh, 14 on Instagram. That is my Instagram. I'll be putting it in the, uh, in the link in the um, description. Hey, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Till next time. Peace.